Sarcoidosis is a rare, multi-system disease that occurs when the immune system goes into overdrive, causing abnormal collections of inflammatory cells that form tiny clumps. These clumps leave deep, grainy scars on the lungs, lymph nodes, skin, and almost all the major organs in hundreds of thousands of Americans. There's no permanent cure for sarcoidosis, and in half of the cases, it goes away on its own. It more commonly affects the women than men, and only rarely affects the children. Depending over the organs that may be involved, sarcoidosis can be of many types. Pulmonary sarcoidosis refers to involvement of lungs by the sarcoidosis. This is the most common form and may lead to scarring and permanent damage to the lungs. When sarcoidosis affects the eyes or the surrounding structures, it is known as ocular sarcoidosis. When granulomas develop in and around the nervous system, the disease is known as neurosarcoidosis. Most commonly, it affects hormone-producing regions of the brain. Cardiac sarcoidosis refers to the involvement of heart, and musculoskeletal sarcoidosis refers to sarcoidosis affecting the bones, muscles, or joints. In about 30% of patients, sarcoidosis can affect the skin, termed as cutaneous sarcoidosis. Sarcoidosis can also affect kidney, liver, bone marrow, and spleen. Exact cause of sarcoidosis is unknown. It is believed that sarcoidosis results from the body's misdirected immune system response to an unknown substance. Instead of attacking the germs, the immune system attacks healthy parts of the body. Sarcoidosis can affect almost any part of the body, and depending on where it occurs, patients can experience different signs and symptoms. In over 90% of cases, the lungs are affected, and progressive fibrosis of lung tissue causes shortness of breath, chest pains, a persistent cough, and wheezing. The symptoms of ocular sarcoidosis can vary depending on which parts of the eye are affected, with the most common symptoms include redness, swelling, and pain in the eyes. There may be a loss of vision and visual abnormalities, such as floaters. While cardiac sarcoidosis occurs in about one-third of sarcoidosis patients, only around 5% experience symptoms, mainly irregular heartbeat or arrhythmia. Inflammation of the bones and joints can cause restricted range of movement, swelling, and pain. Cutaneous sarcoidosis can manifest in the form of painful red lumps on the lower legs or arms, or painful blue lesions on the face, ears, fingers, or toes. Renal sarcoidosis can lead to kidney stone formation, kidney injury, or kidney failure. Hepatic sarcoidosis can cause cirrhosis or portal hypertension. Sarcoidosis of the spleen and bone marrow can result in low blood cell counts. Sarcoidosis can be difficult to diagnose because in its early stages, the disease produces few signs and symptoms. In many cases, the patients do not show any symptoms. A careful medical history and clinical examination is necessary. Diagnostic tests that can help determine the involvement of different body systems may include chest x-ray, CT scan of the lungs, PET scan, or MRI. Blood tests are done to assess overall health and the function of kidneys, liver, and other vital organs. Other tests that can be conducted to diagnose sarcoidosis include lung function tests, eye exam, and biopsy of the affected tissue. If the symptoms are severe or the organ function is threatened, medications are needed. Corticosteroids are powerful anti-inflammatory drugs that make the first-line treatment for sarcoidosis. Immunosuppressive medicines reduce inflammation by suppressing the immune system. Hydroxychloroquine may be helpful for skin disease, and TNF-alpha inhibitors can be helpful in treating sarcoidosis that hasn't responded to other treatments. Organ transplant may be considered if sarcoidosis has done irreversible damage to the vital organs, such as lungs, heart, or liver. Sarcoidosis can be challenging to live with when the symptoms are at their peak, but a number of treatments, lifestyle changes, and the use of support groups can help ensure better clinical outcomes. For more information about sarcoidosis, list of expert doctors, hospitals, and ongoing clinical trials, please visit www.expertdocs.com.